We've seen uh, tremendous records in the paramutual plants. Uh, Gulfstream closing last week with nearly $2 million handle. Uh, the racetracks were up, but yet your figures may be a little bit off. Uh, well, it's still hard to say. We're so close that we could come up to last year's figures, and last year was way ahead of any other year in our history. And uh, I frankly think on closing night we'll have break all records, the highest paramutual handle that has ever been bet in any high life front on in the history of the sport. You've had a lot of young stars here this year, including a lot of Americans. Will we see these same players returning here to highlight next season? Yes, uh, the overwhelming majority will be back. All the top ones will be back, and we're searching for new talent to fill in. Is there any chance that uh, some of the veterans who were involved in the player dispute uh, at the beginning of the season will return to Miami High Life Fronton come next year? Well, I don't know. Mr. Berenson, what was your immediate reaction to the Supreme Court decision? Well, I was very much surprised, of course. I, I've never, never anticipated such a thing. Were you given any reason for this action? Uh, yes, they felt that every High Life Fronton must get between 90 and 105 days, and we didn't have 90, so they gave us six to make up the 90, and then six because we had gone to all this expense to bring in High Life players and advertise and so forth. Is it economically feasible to open this place for 12 days and 12 days only? We'll open the High Life Fronton because we have certain commitments to uh, the 70% or 80% of our loyal employees who did not strike. Uh, they're entitled to their bonuses. Some of them will get up to four weeks bonus, which is about 20% of their normal season's pay, and all the High Life players will be paid for the full 21 days, even though we're only going to run 12. Uh, is it economically feasible? feasible? Well, not too good. <laughs> and you are planning no appeal at this time? No, not planning to. Can you think of any reason that this happened? No, I certainly can't. I think that we shut down Miami High Life. The Board of Business Regulation exonerated us by their order and said that we did, in, in essence, what had to be done at that time. It was unfortunate, but we had to do it. Are these the best group of amateurs you've had since the inception of the organization? Absolutely the best. Enough time has finally lapsed to where we have some younger players uh, who have come to fruition and now their talent is ready to be shown. You think they can participate in professional high lie uh, in a given time? There are some players that you'll see Sunday afternoon at the amateur tournament are pro material now. <laughs>